Listen up. If you're going to switch computers, hard drives, or versions of DaVinci Resolve, this video could be a lifesaver. We're going to learn how to back up our entire DaVinci Resolve project database. Let's pop open this project library sidebar. In my example database, I've got two projects and a folder of projects. I don't want to lose these. Opening up the details of my database and selecting Reveal in Finder shows me where my Resolve Project Library folder is located in storage. This folder is automatically generated by DaVinci Resolve when you're setting up a new database. The same goes for the Resolve Projects folder and everything inside it. To keep everything in one place, I've also put my project files here. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Although we found our Resolve Project Library folder, we can't actually use this folder to restore our database later. To illustrate, we'll create a new Project Library database called Please Subscribe. Smooth, right? Go ahead, support the channel. I plan to keep making videos on this channel to help fellow creatives just like you. So, if we right-click, we only see the option to restore individual projects. That's really handy, and I've got a whole different video on how that works link below. But today, we're trying to restore an entire database, not just one video at a time. Also, let's take a look at our files. As I mentioned earlier, DaVinci Resolve automatically creates these folders for each database. And if the folder already exists, it will still create the folder, but add a number at the end. Now that we understand the basics, let's finally back up our database. Since we're working with the example database, I'll remove this database and its corresponding folder. In the database details, select Backup and choose somewhere safe to save your backup. If you're going to factory reset your computer, for example, you don't want to save this backup to your internal drive and lose everything. And we're all done. Later, once you're on a new computer or different setup where you need your backup, click the Restore button up here, find and open your database backup, and name your database whatever you want. Here, you can choose where DaVinci Resolve will automatically create those folders we talked about earlier. At this point, you could hit open and start editing in your restored database without a problem. But if you want to trick DaVinci Resolve into using the same Resolve Project Library folder that you were using originally, keep watching. Let's quit DaVinci Resolve and rename our original Resolve Project Library folder. After reopening DaVinci Resolve, let's follow the same steps as before. Restore, open the backup, name the database, and hit open. Quit DaVinci Resolve again. Copy the name of our new folder, Resolve Project Library, and delete it. We'll rename our original folder with the default name we copied and reopen DaVinci Resolve. Now, everything still works and DaVinci Resolve is using our original Resolve Project Library folder. Perfect! To confirm this, reveal in Finder. All right, that was a lot, but we now know how to back up our databases and even trick DaVinci Resolve into using our original Resolve Project Library folder. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.